Welcome to our two-part demonstration on getting started with VMware vSphere Distributed Switch, or VDS. In part one, we cover the steps involved in creating a vSphere Distributed Switch. And in part two, we cover migrating the hosts and the VM networking traffic to the vSphere Distributed Switch. We begin by logging into the vSphere web client and navigating to the networking section. We go into the VMware Data Center and then choose New Distributed Switch. Assign a name and choose the version of Distributed Switch you wish to deploy. We will use the 5.5 version for this demo. To find the number of uplinks, we set them to be 4. We will leave Network I.O. Control enabled and uncheck Create a Default Port Group. Click Finish and we now see our new distributed switch. Notice that we have a default network on our standard switch. We have no distributed port groups, and we have one uplink configuration that was set when the distributed switch was created. Let's create a new distributed port group. Click on the New Port Group icon, assign a name, vMotion, and select the distributed switch. Change the binding to ephemeral, choose the VLAN type, and specify the ID. Check the box to specify additional details and click Next. We retain the defaults for security and traffic shaping and proceed to teaming and failover. We change load balancing to route based on physical NIC load. We retain the default configuration for the rest and click Finish. The vMotion port group has been created. Next, we need to create our management port group. Right-click on the distributed switch and click on New Distributed Port Group. Assign a name to it. We'll use static port binding, which ensures our management switch ports are statically assigned. Configure the VLAN details and check the box to customize policy configuration. Here as well, we retain the defaults for security and traffic shaping and select Route Based on Physical NIC Load for load balancing. We take the default for the remaining settings and click Finish. We will repeat this process a few more times to create our storage port group. And then similarly, we will create our VM traffic port group. Our last port group is the VM net port group. With that, we have our distributed switch created with all of our port groups. This concludes part one of the two-part video demonstration of vSphere Distributed Switch. Continue with part two, which covers migrating the hosts and the VM network traffic to VDS.